Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Drew, this is In Search of Tone, and today I just kind of wanted to hang out, talk about the news, and honestly, let's talk about Marshall. Now, if you haven't read, haven't seen online somewhere, have not seen a video yet, uh, Marshall Amplification has sold. Now they have sold the majority of their share to a company called Zound out of Stockholm, Sweden. Now, Marshall and Zound have been doing business for a while. Um, any of those Bluetooth speakers you've seen, uh, headphones, uh, the, uh, the earbuds, all of that, um, those are products that have been created by Zound. And now, I have read comments uh, from the Marshall family, uh, Terry Marshall, son of Jim Marshall, um, has even said that, you know, everything the Zound has done has been approved by, you know, the, the, the Marshall team. Um, they're, they're super excited about what's going on and that, you know, they, they believe that Zound is going to take Marshall Amplification and the Marshall group because we're talking about multiple brands here, not just the amps. But um, they believe that Zound is going to take Marshall um, and its heritage and history into the future. But what does that mean? I mean, uh, what what are we even talking about here? Are we are we talking about you know more modern amplifiers? You know, that might not be a bad thing. I mean, provided that, you know, they, they keep the, you know, the good old, you know, amp range intact as Marshall has done for a long time. You know, I'm sure that there's lots of people out there that would love to have that Marshall sound um, in a more modern flavor. Sure. Does that mean modelers? Does that mean uh, more solid state? Are we going to see, you know, less and less uh, Marshall tube amplifiers? What does that mean for, you know, Marshall's hand wired amplifiers? Are we going to start seeing less and less of them? Is that the end of the, you know, the made in England Marshall amplifiers? I have, you know, I haven't seen anything on the news about that. Um, nothing, nothing in those articles really say, you know, what's going to happen to all of that. So, you know, I'm kind of interested, a little worried, a little worried. You know, I don't own any flagship amplifiers. Um, the only Marshall tube amp I do own is my origin 20 back there, which has been kind of my, my main amplifier for, I would say about four years now. Um, you know, I, I am a huge fan of Marshall. Uh, they've made some of my absolute favorite amplifiers in the world. Um, I would love, absolutely love to have, um, you know, a JCM 800 or, you know, JVM, you know, some of their, their higher line amplifiers. But, you know, what's that going to mean for the, uh, what's that going to mean for the used market? Are all of these, um, you know, pre-zound amplifiers going to be, you know, skyrocketing in price? Is it going to be like a pre-CBS vendor? Um, you know, what do you guys think? Go ahead and leave your thoughts and opinions down below in the comments. I'd love to hear everyone's take on you know kind of what's going on in in this world here and you know with that i'm out i'll see you guys next time